researching state statutes for the environmental legal research course at Boston College Law School. The environment is protected by state as well as federal statutes. Researching the laws of a single state are very similar to researching federal statutes. State statutes are published the same way as federal statutes. First in slip law form, then chronologically as session laws, and then incorporated into a subject arrangement as a code. Codes can be official, that is, either published by the state itself or published under contract with the state, or unofficial, created by a commercial publisher for the purpose of making a profit. And codes can be annotated or unannotated. When dealing with the laws of one state, it will usually make sense to start with a secondary source for that state or the index to that state's code. But when dealing with the laws of many states, especially when dealing with the laws of all 50 states, there are much more efficient ways to structure our research than to search each state individually. Not only may lawmakers from different states choose different language to regulate the same thing, there are variations in names and numbering systems of state statutes. For example, Massachusetts calls its session laws the Acts and Resolves, and its code is the General Laws. Both the Acts and Resolves and the General Laws use the chapter as the major subdivision. California, on the other hand, is a nominative code, identifying each major subdivision by name rather than number. So instead of being divided into titles like the federal code or chapters like Massachusetts, there are 29 separate codes and there are statutes involving environmental law in the California Public Resources Code, the California Health and Safety Code, the California Fish and Game Code, the California Water Code, the California Government Code, and even the California Penal Code. One way that states sometimes work together to minimize conflicts between state laws is through uniform laws. Uniform laws are really model state statutes which individual states are free to adopt in their entirety, in part, or not at all. States that have adopted the uniform law, or parts of it, often find interpretations of that statute from other states that have adopted the law to be highly persuasive authority. The publication that sets out uniform laws indicates which states have adopted them and provides case notes interpreting the statute is a Thomson Reuters publication called Uniform Laws Annotated, which is available on Westlaw. There's a link to ULA at the bottom of the Tools and Resources link from the Statutes and Court Rules page, but the easiest way on Westlaw to get to Uniform Laws Annotated or any other book with a known title is to begin to type the title into the search box look at the content pages under Other, and click the link when it appears. The uniform laws annotated appear online in the same order they appear in the print volumes, which is not alphabetical. One advantage of coming in through the list of titles is that it takes us directly to the table of contents for the Uniform Act. The Uniform Conservation Easement Act and the Uniform Environmental Government Covenants Act are under the heading Civil Procedure and Remedial Laws. The Uniform Transboundary Pollution Reciprocal Access Act is under the heading Family, Matrimonial, and Health Laws. Because we linked into this Uniform Act, we find ourselves in the table of contents. The first link is for references and annotations. This begins with a table of jurisdictions where the Act has been enacted, along with citations to the Act in the codes of the individual states that have adopted it. References and annotations also contains other notes about the Act as a whole. The sections of the Uniform Act itself have the same types of research references as any code on Westlaw, notes of decisions, history, and citing references, these notes of decisions come from any state that has enacted this uniform law. We can see the annotations of two headnotes from a Connecticut case citing this uniform law. Another way to get access to many states' environmental statutes at once is through 50 state surveys. Westlaw has 50 state surveys in its secondary sources collection. They are separated into regulatory and statutory surveys. We can search one or both types of surveys or apply the filters on the left before searching but I like to start by browsing the table of contents because it's sort of random which subjects have 50 state surveys and which don't. The 50 state surveys on environmental laws on Westlaw are under the topics of biotechnology, mine operation and safety, and pollution. Let's take a closer look at the 50 state survey on operational permits for mine safety operations. 
It begins with a general overview to the topic of the survey. It also prominently displays the date the survey was compiled, as the law changes over time and these surveys are a starting point, not the final word. Scrolling down, we see a chart that provides state-by-state -state citations to the specific statutory sections and summarizes the requirement for the included topic. Lexis also has 50 state surveys of statutes and regs. There are potentially re relevant surveys under the topics of energy and utilities law and environmental law. This 50 state survey on brownfield reclamation and redevelopment funding begins with an overview. Again, the date the survey was compiled is near the top to alert us to how much newer information we will need to look at to bring this data up to date. The overview discusses both federal and state laws generally. It is followed by detailed information in a state-by-state -state table with links to relevant statutes and regulations. We can scroll through the table online, but to actually see the entire contents all the way across the page, we would need to download the table using the link provided. Another source that sometimes proves helpful when looking for laws from many states is the subject compilation of state laws available through Hein Online. We can search the database by titles or subjects, but for the most comprehensive results, just use a keyword search. A word of warning, this system does not run, run automatic equivalents for plurals. We can also browse the subject headings list used. Linking to the subject heading water pollution gets 56 results. These can be law review articles like this one, which has a hot link because this article is available on Hein Online, but it could also be a reference to a book or an online database that includes a 50 state survey like the ones we saw on Lexis and Westlaw. The compilation will indicate whether the reference work contains citations only or if it actually includes summaries of the reference statutes.